Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. Yes, sunny Wales and it's quite warm in the studio today. I've got a 16 by 12 canvas board. Board! Yes, I'm not painting on cardboard today. A canvas board. Um, anyway, before, without further ado, and don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Click this, uh, the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to help support the channel. But before we do anything else, let's have a look at the palette. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. So as you can see, my palette is in a complete mess. I've just done a painting actually, and I thought I'm going to have another go. I want to paint another painting. I want to just use the colors that I've got. I'll maybe add a green or something in a second. Um, but basically I've got ultramarine blue, Prussian blue, some mid yellow, some red, some white, some black, and I've made a purple and some oranges and things like that. And I thought that could be, could be quite useful. Just wanted to show you that don't waste paint basically. So the board I'm painting on is a Winsor & Newton um, artist canvas board, which is a 16 by 12. I've just pre-coated that with a gesso. Um, and it's advisable you do that because uh, these boards, even though they come pre-primed, um, it's always best to, to put a, a, a gesso, a, a, a G-E-S-S-O, -S -S by the way, <laughs> gesso. Uh, it's a chalk-based primer, which um, either you can make yourself or you can purchase. Um, I put a little bit of a, a black um, Prussian blue into that just, to, just to, to kill the white of the canvas. And, um, and basically, I know that surface is prepared, ready for painting, and that's the most important thing. So um, at least I know it's clean. That's what I'm trying to say. So what I thought I'd do today is something different. I thought I'd just go quite close into a subject. Um, I'm just going to do some sort of a river bank. I'm just going to come in maybe there like that. Um, and I could put some flowers and grasses and stuff in there. This is going to be water. Um, because I've asked, uh, um, been asked about water effects. Um, for, for acrylics um, and water effects are quite easy. I might have to use a mister bottle. Today I've got some medium mix there which is available at www.cliveivart.co.uk along with some retarder in that little one. I am using a, I will be using a fine mist bottle as well. That's for spraying my canvas. Um, but in the meantime, let's just get on. I'm just going to get a little bit of blue into this white. There we go. I might add some more paint in a second. I'm just going to put a bit of that on just like this. I'm going to be using my Mr. Bottle just to keep the surface of my painting um, dry, a uh, wet, dry? No, you don't want it dry, Clive, you want it wet. Because um, it's quite warm in the studio, it's quite warm. And I'm just going to basically keep doing that so I can I can just chuck in by bits of paint. I'm going to use a bit of Prussian blue here like this. There we go, put a bit of blue in, get a bit of white in there as well. And I'm just going to build that up, just like this. Let's get some Prussian blue up in the top. Get some white down there. The spray in the canvas helps keep the paint from drying out and forming the skin. So I'm just trying to cover the canvas at the moment. Just a bit of my medium mix, a bit more white. Just covering the canvas at the moment. I'm going to get some ultramarine blue in there. Just to give it a different warmth. Because ultramarine blue tends to be a bit warmer. It's got a little bit more of a... Um, a warm feel to it. You can see the difference between that blue and that blue. A uh, Prussian blue tends to be a bit colder, a bit blacker, um, whereas um, ultramarine blue tends to be, the, w the ultramarine blue I use tends to be a bit um, warmer. So we're just going to get some paint just into you like 
like that. I want a little bit of light coming in there. Okay, so I need to just get a bit of kitchen paper. I'm just going to take the paint off my brush like that. And what I'm going to do now is very, very lightly, very, very lightly just go over I'm just trying to merge that in together just like that get a bit more white Just come in there like that. What I'm gonna do now, have I got a brush, a nice a nice soft brush? I got a I got a actually we I do blending brushes. I actually sell them on uh uk. Um I don't think I've got one here, actually. Um I haven't I don't know why, but I haven't got one at the hand. So I I'm gonna use you're gonna use a makeup brush. There we are. This is a makeup brush for, for women's makeup. For brushes very very lightly very very lightly <sighs> no air and some air there we are very very lightly just take that in a bit like that just to give that a bit of a an effect There we are. Now, green. We need some green. So I, I'm not going to mix green. I'm just going to lean over and get some hooker's green. I got some um, gallery acrylic here. Um, I'm going to just use a bit of that up because I need some. I need to mix some on my own. I, I mix my own paints. So, um, but I am going. I am going to green. I haven't mixed any green up. I got to now mix some green up. Green's not a colour I use a lot of, really. I, I tend to use my blues and my yellows to mix my own greens, but I think it's just easier just to... I think we'll put some, maybe, lily pads or something? Lily pads or something? Just on the water like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. There we are. Looks a bit more type. <laughs> looks like a Monet painting. <laughs> it looks like a bit more Monet-ish. Monet-ish. Looks like the lily pond. It does does look it does look like the lily pond, doesn't it? That's weird. There we go. I mean it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's get a bit of that. I was gonna say we we're gonna put a river bank in, didn't we? So let's just just, just establish a line. I don't want a straight line. I want to try and. I mean, I tell you what. It, it would be easier if we did something like that. There you go. Let's get a bit of Prussian blue in there. Let's darken this area up. Adding the Prussian blue to the hooker screen. It's going to make a nice colour. We want it quite dark in certain places anyway. Because you've got to have you got to have it dark sometimes. In order to show light, we 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 really do need to get some dark in place. And I don't like using black. Um, I prefer to use um, like a, a a burnt umber to darken my colours, or you know, in this case, um, to darken the the green. You add a dark blue, so like a Prussian blue. So you're darkening the blue in a normal way rather than adding the black. Black will make it quite. Um, it's a it's it's a funny color. Black, funny color. It's it it can it can it can actually spoil a, a mix. So have a, have a little think before you add black to anything. It's my my advice. Same as white rig. Really. White can make things a little bit chalky pose. 
<laughs> chalky poos <laughs> chalky poos Clive <laughs> it looks quite wet now doesn't it you could swim in that can you Boosh. yes we could we could go and swim in that okay so I'm just gonna get um I'm just gonna get a little short flat there we go a nice short flat let's get some of this where, what do we do this little dark with that this this blue we had some of this blue and green didn't we let's just make a nice dark blue green I want to put a little bit of I want to put a bit of shadow. A bit darker than that. A bit darker. A bit darker. Add a little bit at a time. If you add a little bit at a time, then there you go. Add a little bit at a time. Let's add a little bit of white to that. I'm going to put, put my white on my palette in a second. I want. I want to brighten this up a bit. In fact, I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to just dry that off. Dry it off, Clive, because you're not, you, otherwise we're going to be making mud and mixing the paints together. We want to dry, we want to dry that off. Right, that's not as dry as I want it to be, but we're okay. We're okay. We can live with that. We can live with that. Okay, so let's get a, what was I say, Prussian blue, wasn't it? Prussian blue and, um, and this green color. I'm just going to, just put in maybe. Bit of shadow just here and there like this and let's get a bit of white we need to add a bit more white let me get some white whitey poos I'm using up all my little bits of paint today. It's really good sometimes when you've got, you've got bits of paint, pots of paint and, and tubes of paint that you've got all these little tiny bits in that we've rolled up and screwed up. And um, we just leave them in the, in, in, the, in, the, in the drawer, don't we? And we don't think about using them. And we should do, really. We should. We should, really. Let's get some more white into that. I want to break brighter than that there we go Two lily pads, there we go. Um, dee 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 a bit of white, a bit of yellow, a bit of white. Let's uh, put in a few. Flowers. These lily pads have got flowers, haven't they? Yeah, these are these, these are yellow ones. These are yellow ones. We could we could put a little white one there, maybe. Yep. See, you don't have to be perfect, do we? We don't have to be perfect. What we have to do is. And these are the type of lily flowers that I have seen um, around with me, especially in fish ponds and things. But does it matter? Does it matter at the end of the day? Does it matter? I don't think it does because at the end of the day, this is your painting. It doesn't matter what anybody says about it. Um, at the end of the day, this is your painting. And the most important thing about your painting is it is yours. And nobody can tell you what to do as far as that's concerned so i got a i got a brush here got a brush um these brushes are available at www.clive.co.uk pop along and i'm just gonna get some green i'm gonna mix some of this prussian blue and yellow together and i'm just gonna come in and put some grass in how easy is that a bit do grass how easy is that 
get some blue. Let's darken our green up. Easy, 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 easy. Bring in a bit more yellow. Now you could spend hours and hours and hours if you wanted to do um, grass like this. Oops, hang on, it's only too thick. You could do hours and hours of doing grass like this, which w which w works really well if if you've got the time. I haven't got the time, so I do grass like this, and I think it's it works out well. That's why we put the dark down in the first place, because that's getting sticky now. And we can go back into some yellow and just flick in here and there, not everywhere, just little highlights. Like that. And you can see the grass starting to develop. You can actually get a little bit of white as well into that if you wanted to. Not too much white, obviously, because it'll go like that, but, you know. There you go. We just build that up. We just build that up. Let's get some, let's, all of this um, hook is green and white. And just mix it together. Get some more yellow if that's a little bit white. Boom. Just do that all the way along. Just get these colours. If you want to make it a little bit darker, chuck some darker blue in, just to just keep flicking, build, 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 build. This is all about layers. It's all about layer building. So the effect won't happen until you've got your your final layers in place. So don't forget it all takes time to build something like this. Different types of green in different areas. I don't want it to merge into one colour. A little bit of black here and there, a little bit of black green, dark colour. Getting it in there like that. Bit of bright over here now, bit of yellow. Getting into some yellow. Don't forget it's just not grass, it's just bracken and flowers and all this other stuff that lives on on flower bank, uh, flower banks, <laughs> river banks, <laughs> flower banks. <laughs> what am I like? Flower banks. And just flick it in. Flick it in. Flick it in. Clean your brush. Sometimes your brush gets clogged. Your brush gets clogged. What I'm going to do now is just going to bring in a little bit more white into that mix there like that. I just want to... You can see where what I'm doing there now, because I'm painting wet paint onto wet paint, 
it's not taking it's merging this is a point where you need to dry that off As you've heard me pay, say, pay, as you've heard me, I don't know what's wrong with my teeth today. As you've heard me say so many times in the past, that's not as dry as I want it to be. But it'll do. It will 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 do. Okay, so I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow. I want to bring in another layer. Just like this. Very, very lightly. Bring some grass in. Like that. Paintings are effective from about six feet away. You don't need to be perfectly accurate. Um, if you look at a lot of paintings, you'll find that if you go close up to them, they're not as detailed as you think they are. Um, especially in art, you know, the, the galleries and things. Um, what we need to do now is put some really uh, defined grass shapes in so now you can now you can spend the time to get some of these little grass shapes to poke out now I'm not going to do a lot of these um, but I just want to show you maybe a few because I want these grasses to just pop a little bit and I'm using quite a light color because these are going to be catching the light whereas the dark is more of a shadow it underneath there you go and don't forget this is like a meadow grass maybe or even you know, like somebody's fish pond it could be somebody's fish pond couldn't it just gonna look back at my cameras make sure they're all recording properly because I've had a few issues uh, with my cards, I think, lately. There you go. Just going to fill bits of things like that. Let's get some white. These could be, I don't know what plants these are. These could be any plant you want them to be. There you go. These just happen to be a little white. Flowers on that one. Maybe a few. White flowers here and there. There we are. We could do some nice blue flowers just down and around there like that maybe a couple of blue ones there red is good red is good to pull the eye in just a, a few, maybe little poppies or something like that, just to just to pull the eye into the centre of the painting. We could get some yellow, and we could just do some yellow plants and put another white one there, maybe. There we are, a couple of daisies. 
plop them in like that. It's quite effective if you, if you look at it like that. Um, again, we can get some grass. Just flick it up. So do you do your under do your groundwork and then then you can put your details in. And the more you work on this, obviously the nicer it's going to start to look. And you can put some more flowers in. These are baby ones maybe just popping up. And just let your imagination run with you i that's what i would do just let your imagination run with you what we could do to make that look a little bit more i want this to pop and that to go back a bit more so the only way we can do that now the only way we can do that now is get some let's just move my pots out the way because i'm running out of space here right let's get some medium mix and some ultramarine blue, maybe a little bit of Prussian blue. There we are. So I just make a, a, a nice blue wash. Maybe a little bit of Prussian blue actually, because I want to darken this up. I'm just going to go just across the top of the painting like this. bit of Prussian blue and that just darkens that off a touch we'll just dry that very quickly And there's a, 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 an easy-ish type of painting that you can have a crack at. Um, have a crack at it. <laughs> have a crack at that. <laughs> a crack. <laughs> no, have a go at that. Um, as an easy type of painting you can have a go at. Um, yeah, give it a try because it, these things are not that complicated. They really aren't. You need to put... You need to get your imagination and, and get involved in these paintings and, and just have a go. Just have a go and don't forget in building layers. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this one. It just gives you something to work on and improve because that's what it's all about. My channel is to let you paint. And I've just shown you an idea. So don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Please click the notification bells because you'll get notified every time I upload a video. And um, don't forget to share my videos. Give me a thumbs up and please leave me a comment because I will get to them. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.